tattoos are representative of how we take up space. Like the way we use our clothes, the way we wear clothes, it could um, express gender, it can express um, politics, the person's individual politics. All right, so my storyboard, it's about a person who is an immigrant, comes to America, he's an African Muslim, and he comes to America and he wants to be down with America so bad he goes and gets a tattoo of an American flag. So his American flag is a symbolic of him trying to do everything he can to be American and embracing American culture through his tattoo. So at first he, he walks into the um, tattoo shop, the tattoo parlor, he opens the door, he looks at all the um, options, butterflies, spiders, naked ladies, different pictures. <laughs> then he goes, then it's a close up on the, um, of the tattoo gun starting to do the tattoo on his arm. Then you see a close up of American flag and then there's a um, man behind bars with a, a little American flag on his arm. We wrote a poem based on uh, the storyboard called Deportation by Jen and Angie. You can't take this away from me. What is the price? The ultimate sacrifice, blood, sweat, and tears. How will you see me? I decide. I'm willing to give it all for the chance to be here. You cannot silence us. What is it you fear? Even if I can't stay, the dream is worth the pain. I will invent my own space. I will leave my heart behind. It's the reason why I came. You can't take this away from me. What is the price? The ultimate sacrifice. Blood, sweat, and tears. How will you see me? I decide. I'm willing to give it all for the chance to be here. You cannot silence us. What is it you fear? Even if I can't stay, the dream is worth the pain. I will invent my own space. I will leave my heart behind. It's the reason why I came. Years ago, after seeing a news headline that I can't remember, I said to my mother, I hate this country. Immediately, don't say that. I love this country. This went deep for me because my mother is an immigrant from the Azores. She came over when she was nine years old. She had to learn English with her siblings in a classroom separate from their peers. And at lunchtime, they were laughed at. My mother learned to live her life without any friends. I have been told in arguments about immigration that my mother should never have come to this country. So through her, I thought I understood all the difficulties of being an immigrant. Years later, I see graphic photos of immigrants behind bars squished in crowds over five times the space's capacity. People, children, who up until recently were not even allowed soap and toothbrushes. They came here for refuge and are met with cruelty. I realize I was wrong. 
because I never worry about the day ICE will take the most important person in my life away from me. I think maybe my mother and her siblings were lucky, but luck has little to do with it. Our current state is about racism. It is about hatred. It is about dictatorship and our ability to look away when time and time again, people have come here for the land of the free. People who now find themselves in cages came to be free. And in exchange, their bodies are treated like body count with their American flag tattoos. I wonder if they still love this country. Thank you.